When the barbecue's got to be right Go and get yourself some Danny in mine Hey y'all, Danny Mike here. Um, we're uh, fixing to do a little turkey for you. We're uh, going to be doing a little turkey prep. Danny Mike's way. Easy peasy. My particular uh, preference on my turkey blend is equal parts of chick magnet, sublime swine, and pixie dust. I'm going to take two tablespoons of each and uh, put it right in this bowl so that I can mix it up. You don't have to be real dainty about your uh, your proportions. You can go a little, little heavier, a little lighter. Approximately two tablespoons of each. And we're gonna mix that together. So, there we have our um, volume of uh, seasoning. I wanna mix that with just a nice little whisk like that. You can use a table fork, you can use your hands. It doesn't make any difference. You just want to mix that together real nice. All right, so I've mixed my seasoning. Now what I'm going to do is take um, some butter that I just uh, put in the microwave. I put that in on high, one stick of butter, for oh, probably 45 seconds. Keep an eye on it just to make sure it doesn't get ahead of you. And I just really want it melted. You could do it on your fry in a, you know, a saucepan on the stove. And basically, you're just going to put the uh, seasoning right into the butter. Take your whisk and work it around and let that get nicely mixed. And now what we're going to do, we have our turkey ready. Basically uh, for the seasoning, I like to uh, take a, um, a half size rubber spatula. Actually this is uh, not exactly the spatula that I wanted to use, but my wife wouldn't let me take her, so I'm kind of limited, but this spatula works. That rounded edge you're going to find, when you reach in under the skin, you're going to be able to push all the way to the back of the legs, and very carefully, of course, you want to get in as deep as you can. You went on the other side, you'll find your access. If you have a a pop-up thermometer, you can take that out and uh, reinsert it if you want, if you feel like you need to use it. I just kind of keep an eye on things with my, uh, with my thermometer and I like my uh, digital read thermometer. I like to know uh, where I am temperature-wise. You can use a uh, remote thermometer in your bird. Uh, they're very handy because um, basically the, the, uh, the whole trick of cooking is to cook to temperature, okay? I'm looking for a finishing temperature on my turkey of about 170 degrees. Generally, they're going to say, um, now in the back, I can go under a little bit. I've, I've pulled the legs over. I like to fold those legs, as you can see, and it just helps the birds sit quite nicely. It keeps them out of the way, and uh, they cook, uh, I believe, more evenly that way. And you'll get in Sometimes it's a little bit of a push. That's why I like that rounded edge on the uh, on the spatula because that is so gentle to your skin, which of course you do not you'd rather not tear. Let's put it that way. But now what I want to do put a little bit of this uh, in the cavity. Okay, and I can just take it with that spatula. Put it in, just spread some around, get that flavor. And what I do generally do in the cavity of my bird is I'll take onion, celery, cut up a couple of oranges if you want, put them in. Apples work real good. I just use that as a uh, as a, um, a kind of a moist inducing stuffing. Uh, we generally make a uh, bread stuffing uh, in the um, in the oven, although you can stuff your bird with your with your bread stuffing, I uh, prefer to do this. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, personal taste and preference. So I've got that in. I'm going to tuck those legs back in, get them under control a little bit, and then I'm going to take this and put it right in under that skin. That's why I lifted that skin up to begin with. Turn this bird over here and I get a little bit better access to those legs. 
I want to put just about as much as I can possibly fit in there. You can see that that spatula is working pretty well, just helping me get access back in there and pushing that seasoning right in. And oh, I'm telling you what, you know how good this is going to be just by looking at it. So this is a trick that I think is going to serve you extremely well. You're going to find that that bird cooks up so nice and that kind of self-basting with that butter. It is absolutely fabulous. Keep going at it. Put it where you can. Don't worry. You're going to make a little bit of a mess. But don't worry about that. Because there's always time to clean up. Now you put some of that in under that back side there. There we go. Some over here. Now you see what I'm going to do is keep an eye on my, on my uh, rub. And this is called a wet rub when we do it this way, by the way, you guys. So, uh, you know, we've got liquid, we've got seasoning, and basically what we've done is made a wet rub. Now what I'm going to do is finish it off with the remainder and just spread it as far and wide as that remainder is going to take it. I kind of generally like to know that I'm making enough so that I'll almost have some to, to toss and not have to use the whole, uh, the whole volume of what I put together. But you can see, now this is a 10 pound bird. So, you know, you're going to want to use probably another tablespoon if you're doing an 18 or 20 pounder or what have you. I just say keep an eye on, on uh, you know, your proportions. You're going to look and see how big that bird is and then uh, make a determination of how much seasoning you're actually going to need uh, and butter for that matter. But I generally find that stick of butter goes pretty, you know, goes quite a ways and uh, you're probably gonna, not going to need much more than a stick. Anyway, I'll tell you what, Denny might cook an easy peasy. We have a turkey ready to put in the oven, put in your pit. I like to cook in my oven. I like to cook, oh, maybe around 275 to 300, maybe even go to three and a quarter, um, and just keep an eye on it. They say start breast side down for an hour and then flip it back up and put it, uh, this is basically the way you're going to finish your bird. I put it in a shallow roasting pan with a, uh, um, a rack so that it's held up off and not uh, sitting in the, uh, uh, in the drippings, and those drippings are important. I save those and I make my gravy with it. Of course, a gravy made with all this seasoning, it's absolutely over the top. You don't waste it. Don't miss the opportunity to, to uh, cook with it and uh, utilize it. So there's all I need to do. I'm going to put this in the fridge, let it set a little bit. I like to do it. You could do it the night before. Certainly a couple hours, two or three hours before cooking, but that's why if you do it the night before, you're way ahead of the game. The seasonings have a chance to really kind of build into the meat. Hope you guys have fun. An awesome Thanksgiving. I'll tell you what, you're going to be all set and you do it just this way and everybody's going to say, I can't believe how awesome that turkey tasted. You guys have fun. Bon appetit. See you next time. When the barbecue's got to be right, go and get yourself some Danny Mike.